And the old F800, this is how many safaris now? Uh, this would be five on this one. Really? And we've just clocked up 92,000 Ks. Wow, what an old soldier, both you and the bike. Yeah, I'm a bit better looking than the bike, mate, but uh, we're both going well. Tires, bikes, action. It's GS Safari time again, and where better to kick off the 21st anniversary than in the heart of the Blue Mountains, New South Wales. The start point is the iconic Janolan Caves, where over 200 adventure riders from all over Australia have gathered on every Model GS available, both past and present. How many people here have done more than five safaris? More than eight safaris? Every second name brought back a vivid memory of something from a video or something from uh, one of the events. So it's been a real big job to get everyone squeezed in, but we thought it was worth it because it was a great location. Out of 200 riders, we've got 197 guys and three girls. Gary Clark. I don't think I've seen you on a safari before. No, first time. First time, uh, really? a whole new initiation. It is. Oh, it is, yeah. And yeah. what have you got yourself here? <laughs> At, uh, BM 1200GS water cooled, 2013 model. The Wasser Boxer. The Wasser Boxer. You're pretty happy with it, aren't you? Yeah, no, it's excellent. It goes really well, nice and comfy ride. So doing some off-roading is going to be a whole new adventure for me. <laughs> Tim Bailey. Yeah, that's me. What the hell are you doing riding this old girl? <laughs> I love it, and it loves me. <laughs> well, I'm going to set you a challenge. Yeah. I want you to get this old thing to the end. Perfect. You reckon you can do it? I reckon I can do it and not even be quite last. It's 1984. Yeah. Um, I bought it when it was new. I swapped it for a... You did this to the bike. <laughs> I did it all to the bike. Really? Yeah. yeah. And I uh, swapped it for a Tenere, a Yamaha Tenere. Oh, that was a good one. Which movie. I gave away for a Suzuki RGV 250 because the 250 was worth 400 bucks more on trade-in than the Tenere. Anyway, I got this and it's been with me ever since. The atmosphere in the morning of day one is typical of 200 kids going on school camp. In this case, 200 big kids and their bikes. It's a short run on the bitumen as we elevate the switchbacks from Janolan Caves and take on the meandering dirt roads across the Blue Mountains Plateau.
What's going on? How good was that? What are you going to tell us about this place? Oh, it's pretty. It's a pine forest, mate. A bit of logging. This is where the. <laughs> <laughs> that's all, that's all. Well, what that's do you want me to say, Adam? <laughs> well, what do you got to say, huh? If he's number one, I must be 101. <laughs> Nick Grozdanov. Did I correct. say that right? Yep, absolutely. All the way from Russia. But he's upset. Really? He's upset because Andrew he's, Connors. He's number one. Oh, you got the number one. <laughs> These are hard to come yeah, by. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around, brother. Turn around. You've overcooked it. Here's another one. <laughs> oh, it's coming in hot. Well, an awesome day one for the 2015 GS Safari. Some beautiful weather, beautiful tracks, just awesome. A bit of everything so far, a little bit of muddy stuff, a bit of water to play in, a bit of dust, but great tracks and beautiful weather. Awesome. Seen any wildlife? Yeah, live kangaroos and uh, a wombat strolling really? across the road, which is uh, interesting. A very pleasant morning, very relaxing. Nice flowing stuff, bit of dust, but no, very pleasant morning. You haven't had to get involved with Not anyone? Not at all. Everyone seems to be riding quite sensibly at the moment. That's good. Yes. So early in the so game. So early in the game. After exactly. such a big night. Correct. Well, I think that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why. Enjoying yeah. the MotoGP and a few reds. It's yeah. It seemed to go well. well. I think I must have sunk about a litre of red last <laughs> night. <laughs> but that's just what happens on safari. It tends to happen that way, doesn't it? What are you doing here, my friend? <laughs> See, we often ask the same question. Really? Oh, uh, having fun. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant day, lovely run. Yeah, looking forward to a lot more. Now, you seem like the true BMW enthusiast. Well, I could be since 19. Yeah, it's my sixth BMW. The sixth uh, one? Yeah. Um, out of 36 bikes. Took me you a while. had 36 bikes. Yeah. So you've had 30 other brands, and now you've last yeah. six have all been BMWs, I'm guessing. Yep. yep. And stay true to the brand. And now you're on the Wasser Boxer. And uh, so we've got Colin Sheehan, and is this guy your safari? Companion yes, Stuart. Come all the way down from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland. Yeah. Left last Wednesday. Yeah, good trip down, got wet. Done two days training at uh, Auburn and starting to enjoy the ride. First safari? First safari for me, yes. Wow. Uh, I've done one uh, GS safari, but this is the first uh, GS one. A quick morning tea stop at the Loch Marie Trail Bike Park is the perfect recharge as the route is about to get a little more challenging and a little more epic.
Jeff Grabham, what twisted turn of events has led to you being the owner of this pub? I'd like to try something new. <laughs> How's that? And you've cooked me a salmon steak, chips and salad. I can't quite believe this. No, well, I can. <laughs> why, why there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, my friend. Jeez, look at the size of it. Yeah. What's the name of this pub? The Argyle Inn. The Argyle Inn, yes. Taralga. Yes. All right, well, here we are. And we cater for motorbikes yeah. undercover out the back. Yep. Security. Yep. Ten rooms. Ten rooms. Good looking women. Yep. <laughs> No blokes behind the bar. No blokes behind the bar. So it's a stop for old motorcycle heads Australia wide. Dirt roads cut through rolling farmland are a delicacy on safari. There's hours of this stuff as we track our way towards Mittagong. The situation. The situation is it's bloody good to be here after the first day. Really? Yeah. Clean run. I got a little dirty this morning, but uh, it's been a cracking day. Yeah, that's good on the uh, the 650. 650. Marty Rabjohn. Marty Rabjohns, that's me. Yeah, I'm here with Dad. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. The young fella behind you. The young you. fella, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of the younger ones in the on the tour. First safari. But, yeah, uh, not my first safari, but yeah. Your mine, first yeah. safari. Mine. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Your dad roped you into it. Yeah, it was really difficult to get me here. But, uh... <laughs> Did you have to go and buy a bike to be here, or you're already a BMW? No, no but I, I already had one. But I think it was part of the plan. It was only a matter of time. <laughs> That's true. And we've got the 700. This is quite a rare beast. What it do you is. think of it? It's, it's great. Yeah? Yeah, I've had, I've had the bigger bikes. I had a 1200 GS. And uh, I just found it was a bit too big for me. Chris, what's going on? Oh, mate, just had an absolute you're, ball. You're at it on. again. Yep. You're at it again. Yeah, mate. Absolutely awesome. Love that. I've got that nice big top. Have the 1200 served you today. Awesome. 
I didn't feel good this morning, but after lunch, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I wonder why. Anything to do with that bloody Sam Booker at the bar? Nah, nothing to do with that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow is probably the largest amount of bitchment that we're going to do for the week. Um, and most of it's in the morning. It's an awesome track. We're winding our way down um, to more coastal elevation. Um, you'll really enjoy it. We work our way down to Kangaroo Valley. The dedicated support team of almost 20 people ensure that the event runs to plan and riders are provided with a high level of support along the way. It's an early start for a big day into the hinterland of New South Wales' south coast. This region is popular among travellers for its fine food, wine and real country style accommodation not to mention its GS-friendly roads. What are you doing here? Learning to ride in the dirt. Yeah. First time off road. Yeah, other than the training course. Yeah. You did the rider training. Did the rider training. What did you think of that? Yeah, it's good. Been running for a long time, but you still pick up a few tips mm. and tricks. That Especially you're... if you're going into the off road, like you say. Yep, exactly right. And what's this joint called? Uh, Belmore Falls, is it? Belmore Falls. Where's the falls? That's what I'm looking for. Somebody must have turned the tap off. How did you get here? Because whenever you followed the rest of them. On what? <laughs> On the 1200, yeah. Love it. Adventure? Yes. Not the adventure, just the normal one. Really? And I haven't dropped it once. That's good. That's good going. <laughs> the team is back. Yeah, yeah, we're back in past five. Oh, really? What's been happening out there? Taking it easy, mate. We're just cruising, enjoying the view, the beautiful scenery of the Southern Highlands. Waiting for the dirt. This is the Southern Highlands, right? <laughs> What's happening out there, Benno? Not much yet, mate. That's it? That's it. No repairs? Nothing. No counselling? No counselling. No, <laughs> no, not yet.
machine you're on? It's a 2007 F650 GS, but it's more like a bit of a Franken bike now. Really? What have you done to it? I started robbing parts off of a Dakar. <laughs> so it's got the 21 inch front wheel, 18 inch rear. But it's getting the job done. Yep. Yep. It did the enduro last year. Um, to Darwin. To Darwin? Yeah. That's a solid event, that, that one. That was my first time off-road. Really? Yeah. It's a good effort. So, that was good. I enjoyed that. So, you're somewhat experienced now. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you ever can be. I think you learn stuff every time. Every ride. You do, don't you? Yeah. Where are we headed? Today? Yeah. Bateman's Bay, I hope. How far is it? No idea. I just follow the level arrows. Who cares? We'll yeah. get there. Yep. Yeah. The arrows take you around. And you just follow them. And just follow them. Halfway through day two, the route heads closer to the coastal mountains and more challenging terrain. But riders are finding their rhythm, feeling good and staying on their game. situation. With so many picturesque locations to stop for a break, it's always good to carry your own snacks and supplies, especially if there's big gaps between watering holes. You're looking pretty serious here, my friend. <laughs> I left my backpack in Ulladulla, didn't I? What did you do that for? Um, to give me something else to worry about all afternoon, what do you reckon? <laughs> Mate, there's no, nothing to worry about out here at Big Tree. No, at Big Tree, so I need to walk up to the tree, get the crap out of my system and 
then drive back to Ulladulla to see whether maybe someone's found my pack. But you know what? Who cares Someone about will, the pack? It's got my wallet in it. Uh, we'll shout you a few drinks at the <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> This situation. No, this situation? Yeah. This is luggage, tyres, bike maintenance, it's a safari. Happening. It's all happening here. And and three popsicles. After you check in. After you check in. Yes. That, that's about that much lower than when I rode through. What's your name? It's Jim. Jim? Yeah. I, I was like more like a water buffalo today. I was wallowing in the mud. So um well, you're starting like, to look like you're meant I'm, to be here. I'm glad, I'm glad to see a few others like me. I thought yeah. it was just me. <laughs> there was plenty of opportunity to go down today, wasn't there? There was indeed, and I, I took it. I took that opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys cross the paths out there? We did at the start. Tucked onto the back of the cake. Oh, yes. Ah. Down the, down the switchbacks on the upgrade this morning. We really? took a lot of men. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> It took a lot of the boat. Yeah. That's good. Good yeah, work. Yeah, some really angry fist <laughs> shaking. So yeah, look, great day, clean run. Does everyone feel a bit more in the groove today? Less general incidents. The first one in the morning we call the easy loop. Well, if you want, you can just do the 120 k's. If you want to do the second loop, no worries, it's another 80 k's. It's slightly harder the second side. Call that the hard, hard loop. Uh, three complete strangers until this morning. Good coffee. Yes. Good coffee. Good coffee brings it together. You're back in your motel, oh, asleep. Good I'm fogging stupid, that's why. Having fun? Yes. <laughs> Come your little 650. Yeah, made it up the hill, that's the main thing. Carol Gilmore. How many of these have you done? Kenilworth. Huh? Kenilworth, Queensland. Oh. <laughs> and how many safaris? First one. First one. It's a good one, so far. We're rolling in now.
you might just might need a hand with that. <laughs> yeah, due to lack of traction. Ready? One, two, three. <sighs> you happy? Yep, thank you. Now we're going to get in. What's your story? <laughs> <laughs> My story is the first time we're here and absolutely having a ball. Is this your bike? Uh, the red one over there. Yeah, F800. Yeah, F800. Yep, having an absolute ball today. Even in the wet and the fog. Even in the wet and the fog. Has anyone taken a spill? No, not today. This is my wife's and uh, my, my mate's wife's bike, so I've got to be very gentle Your with it. Your mate's wife's bike. bike. Yep, and she How lent, she lent it to me. Yep. And it is magnificent. Is it? You're just saying that. No, I'm fucking serious. Excuse really? me. I'm serious. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm dead serious. Uh, it is. A girl's bike, huh? Yes, that's, a, that's it. <laughs> a girl rider. <laughs> what are you doing here, my friend? Well, I'm having a fantastic time. Are you sure Good about day? that? Yeah. <laughs> Don't look and like I it. tell you what, it's the best weather. Riding on a day like this <laughs> is fantastic. It is. Thank Thank you. You. Steady rain has flooded the creeks and waterways. It's a constant battle to maintain clear vision, but best of all, the tracks have turned to slurry, which makes cornering a real challenge. With the rain getting harder and conditions worsening, Safari HQ has made the decision to close the afternoon loop and get everyone safely back to Batemans Bay. No drama. It's a perfect opportunity to dry off and seek out some indoor activities for the afternoon. That was awesome. Adventure riding, one day you're munching dust, the next day you're doing 180s down slimy clay. Who knows, we might get some snow on the way down Limestone. But uh, I don't think you'll forget about today's ride in a hurry. Who is happy to get to Nelligan? <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to leave south on the highway. There'll be a couple of arrows up heading you south. Um, we'll make our way down towards Bermagui. Where do you think you're going? Hopefully to Jindabyne. Really? With my sunny weather. Do you know the way there? Ah, uh, they've given me some track notes, but I've got no idea. No. Ask me tonight when I get there. Alright. Good luck. Thank you. Michael Taberski. Is that pronounced Taberski? Taberski. You're looking uh, a bit too clean. That's because I took it to the car wash yesterday. I, it was full of red clay from yesterday's ride. But that's all part of it, mate. Or you prefer it just to be squeaky clean? Well, no, it's, it was... Um, I was covered in mud as well, so I tried to get most of the mud off myself as well. And how's your safari going otherwise? Awesome. Really, uh, this is my first one, so it's going really well. Um, I've not had any offs. The bike's been... hasn't missed a beat. And... Um, really impressed with the way it's been organised. Are you good at riding it? Well, that's subjective. I'm not entirely sure, but I've just done um, level one, level two BMW off-road training, so I think that's prepared me for it. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm satisfied with my uh, ability You're on to your ride game. this thing. Yeah. Hardest working GSA in Western Australia, according to my mechanic. How many Ks now? 135,000. 35,000. So you rode across again? I did ride across again and I'll be riding it back. 
how many days did you spend getting here? Oh yeah, four days, four big days, along with Mike here. Um, yeah, oh. many, many hours in the saddle. I'll be taking it a bit easier going back. It just keeps on doing these bloody safaris, doesn't it? Yes, it's yeah, so sort of, you. Some sort of bizarre attraction. <laughs> yeah. Ongoing rain and impassable river crossings has ruled out the intended off-road route. So day four will now be an amazing twisty bitumen run all the way to Jindabyne. Anthea, did you have a bedroom like this growing up? Once upon a time, yeah. About two years ago, I think. <laughs> You didn't come down on it to ride the safari and then think, oh, I might live in this country. <laughs> That's exactly what happened, yes. Really? <laughs> you, you did your first safari as a South African yeah. resident? We, we, after I reacted, it was a tune. We said, let's do it, so we did it. And then when I got home, after seeing that in Australia everything just works, it was a good idea to come and live here. And you can just ride your motorbike everywhere? Every day. talking rubbish to on the go. Well, I'm that would be uh, Smithy and Rob, I think. Oh, really? You have to put up with this guy the whole way. And it is rubbish. Oh, I bet it's rubbish. <laughs> we specialise in Do you it. put in your two cents worth? Of course, of course. What system are you running? Um, oh, yeah, the scene of Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah, it's a great system. There we go, aren't they? Um, yeah. It's, um, just got to put up with the Smithy's dribble. Yeah. He's got a lot to say, old Smithy, doesn't he? Eh? Hey? Yes. Most of the time. Actually, you get a few beers in him and he won't shut up. That's it. No, I'm, I'm quiet today. I haven't had any yet.
roads are okay. Yep. Broke the day with Benno, so out riding with a mate. Can't complain about that. What did you eat out there, Rich? <laughs> a hot dog. Oh. And it was the wrong choice. You, <laughs> yeah. you generally get it wrong on the road. Yeah. You know, when it comes to stopping for food. Yeah, it was the wrong choice. <laughs> Video of me on that last uh, little range. Pretty, pretty. Which one was that? So the last one coming in when I was about, I don't know, 15, 20 k's back. You were following me up the range. What were you doing? Just riding in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> nothing reckless? No, nothing not at all. Not at all. I was within the speed limit. Break any speed limits? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Only once. Just once. For from start to finish. <laughs> How was that day? Well, it added to the whole mix that we've had so far. Yeah. Yeah, so definitely uh, another dimension to it. Yeah. Excellent uh, dirt road for considering that we had no other option. Yeah, so it was um, pretty it. scenic. Yes. And I'm guessing you've seen some pretty scenic country in your time. I do, uh, and I have, yes. And uh, I just was the first time in 30 years since I've been back in this area, so uh, definitely. Uh, Something uh, to experience again. It's worth a look, wasn't it? Yes, it certainly is, and I hope tomorrow it is the, uh, the culmination of the whole lot will be just as well. We're looking good for tomorrow. Yeah, how, what is tomorrow's Tomorrow is the last of this rain. Yeah. And um, no, we're looking good for tomorrow. What are they, what are they saying? What are they claiming? Rats and hills. Of, um, 90 percent of chance of serious fun. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make that five siders. Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, you'll get nothing from me. So, who's been struggling to leave on time this week? Come on, honest people. Okay, point at someone that you know that's been struggling to leave on time. Okay, the normal route that we were planning on taking at some point is going to be challenging. The good news is we've got an easier route that is still shit hot. The other thing tomorrow to be really careful of is wildlife. I've never seen so many kangaroos and wallabies through the middle of the day anywhere else in Australia. There's plague proportions. The old town of Jindabyne was flooded when the Snowy River was dammed in the late 60s as part of the Snowy Mountains Hydro Scheme. It's a short ride along the bitumen to begin one of Australia's greatest adventure bike routes, the Barry Way, a meandering dirt road which descends to the iconic Snowy River and parallels it all the way across the Victorian border. How's this old war horse going? Mate, she's going like a trooper. And how's the bike going? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of fun. <laughs> Lots of fun. A little bit of damage on the left hand side though. What went down? You. Oh, well, just a little lie down, no mirror. Nothing, nothing too major. 
Mate, you got this covered. Yeah, absolutely. What's the situation? Helmet has rolled down the hill. <laughs> Who? I can only say one thing. <laughs> Who is the bloody idiot? That would be <laughs> right, that fella down the water. Looking for a bit of exercise, <laughs> were you, buddy? <laughs> what was all that about? I dropped off my bike. Oh, yeah. Uh, all well. good? A few chips, scratches? No. Looks all right. No different from when you land on your head, eh? Oh, you was a of punishment. What did you do here? I was changing it, helping a bloke change his tyre, and I uh, leant against the exhaust. With your head? I actually <laughs> heard it before I could feel you it. You heard it fry? I heard it sizzle. Jesus. It smelt like chicken. What is your <laughs> name? <laughs> Where are we? Ben? No, not me, not me. <laughs> ben? Keep going, keep going. Ian? Keep going, keep going. Here he is. Keep going. Damien Clark. I'm oh, wrong. you're the dude that's, with the girl's that, bike. That's right. I got my wife's, <laughs> my mate's wife's bike. I love it. You're it showing up all over the joint now. I love it. So this is the turning point? Yes, it is. <laughs> I think so. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to try the hard track on the higher bike. Which colour? Which colour? The orange. Orange. We'll see. see. I'll let you know how that works out. Stuart Garland. What's happening? What a day. So far, pretty awesome, huh? The fog's been thick. Yep. The road surface has been great. The view's been unreal. Yeah. It's uh, certainly a day in the high country today. It doesn't get much better surface than that for drifting at 1200, uh, does it? The bike's just, as Miles said, floating like a butterfly. Oh, and look at the classic 30th anniversary model. Rally. Rally edition. Rally edition. That suits you to a T then. <laughs> Good idea, Adam.
Not one of the best roads a safari that was offer. Probably the best road I've ever been on. Tuesday with a bit more tricky off road. Yeah. And today with this sort of loose, long swipe sweeper stuff, it was just absolutely beautiful. How big's the tank? Uh, about 20 bucks worth. I'll tell you what, they came through with the goods today, didn't they? Uh, actually they did. Yeah. This is gonna stay in everyone's memory for next year. didn't disappoint. The snowy river was pumping from all the rain we've had. All the creeks were chock-a-block, the river was flowing, the, the granite surface was perfect and uh, yeah I think everyone had a ball on that. It's like a hundred k's of the perfect drift yeah, track. Yeah exactly. I just don't believe it. <laughs> yes, it's really here. What a legendary piece of equipment. I reckon. Eh? I reckon. What's this secret sauce? Oh, this is just petrol. I thought I'd finish the ride, I better use up the petrol. You've been carrying that all week, haven't you? I have indeed. <laughs> just in case. Never I... let you down. Two of, two vessels. Well, two litres. She hasn't let me down though, it's been pretty good for a 14 year old bike. 14 years. Yep. As you can see, it's been dropped a few times. That's all right. You can handle it, obviously. It's just a race to the next drinking hole, these ah. safaris. I reckon so. Pretty much. I reckon it's a, if that's a good part. Tell me if it's any different no, to that. No, it's not different to that. And that should be how it remains. And so ends the 2015 GS Safari, where over 200 riders reveled in the spirit of adventure, a BMW adventure. Now tell me, yes, what's it been like riding your mate's wife all week? Uh, I mean, your mate's wife's bike. It's been great, thank you very much. It's a lovely bike, the bike, the GS 650 is a very lovely bike, and I love riding it. What do you have to replace on it? Uh, I've dented the front wheel. Yes. Uh, I've scratched the fairing a little bit, so yep. I've got to polish that out. The chassis? Uh, no, the chassis is okay. I think it really helps it pretty good. Front brake pads? Oh, the front brake pads have been worn out. <laughs> For a first attempt, the hard work that they did made it a success that it's been. I want to thank Grant and So. everything they're going to do for the events moving forward. So, 21 years history, the future's looking great.
Like, this is fantastic. Great day, clean run. Does everyone feel a bit more in the groove today? Let's just hear some of that one. I'm going to steal an icy pole. What are you going to do about it? You have to check in first. Oh, really? Is that the deal? Yeah, you don't get one. Unless you check in. Wait, wait, sorry. It wasn't 196. Okay, cool, thanks. Okay, um, I can't even remember my number. Your number's 209. Next time you won't get Thank you, Sam. Hey, that's not the 